Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing a quick review of Othello by William Shakespeare. So I basically picked this up because Roya Eve reads here on Booktube. She's reading a bunch of Shakespeare for her university course. This is one of the ones that she was picking up. I happen to have a copy of it. So we figured why not read it at roughly the same time? So I have since chatted to her about it as well. It's, it's interesting because we've kind of picked up on some similar stuff as well. Uh, maybe, actually I do have the email, so I'll check that in a minute and I can check the email train. Now what's cool about this is the copy that I have uh, as I picked it up used. Somebody had filled it with these notes. I didn't I didn't actually start taking notes until about halfway through with my sticky tabs as well, but that's because I wasn't sure if I was going to do a review or not, but I really enjoyed reading it. I actually read the majority of this on a train home. The plot here is basically it follows what happens when a chap called Othello starts to doubt the kind of integrity of his his wife Desdemona and uh, he has an advisor called Iago who basically starts poisoning his ear and making him suspect that she's not being faithful to him. Now one thing I will say is that one big part of the proof that he has that his wife has been unfaithful is that this handkerchief that he gave to her ends up in somebody else's room and he's like oh it's proof that she's been sleeping with him but basically there's this conversation before that between Othello and Desdemona where she accidentally drops the handkerchief and she's and he's like leave it leave it on the floor and she's like oh okay but this is like a handkerchief that means a lot to the two of them they both watch it like flutter down to the ground and I'm like why do neither of them remember this happening because they were both there and if either of them remembered this is what happened to the handkerchief then you know what I mean? The entire story then no longer works and suddenly you would be forced to think something weird's going on here. So a lot of the criticism that's been leveled at, at this play is that Iago is kind of like, he's kind of like a panto villain, you know. I like here, uh, Iago says to him, Oh beware my lord of jealousy, it is the green eyed monster which doth mock the meat it feeds on. So that's where the phrase the green eyed monster comes from. I don't know whether Shakespeare invented it or whether he just used it, but that'll be where, you know, where it entered popular culture. I liked here, this is actually something that the person who annotated it added as well, but this description here, a housewife that by selling her desires buys herself bread and clothes. He's basically calling someone a prostitute. I just thought it was a poetic way of saying it. It's also interesting reading this actually to note when he switches uh, Shakespeare, when he switches from prose to iambic pentameter. I got a bit confused as well with the bit where so Othello basically kills Desdemona, he kills his wife and he smothers her to death right and then we have this bit where Desdemona says a guiltless death I die and then Amelia says oh who hath done this deed and Desdemona says nobody I myself farewell commend me to my kind lord oh farewell and then she dies and I'm not sure that's how smothering somebody works because how is she speaking at this point? He's not still... I'm really confused because he's not still smothering her or whatever. She's been smothered. And then she sort of says these couple of lines and then just goes... Ugh. And it's like, but, but that's not how smothering works. It's weird to read Shakespeare and spot plot holes. It's just weird. <laughs> Another thing I'll say as well is it's... It's strange because Othello is black and so it's kind of unusual for a, a you know piece of fiction or whatever from this time to to have a black protagonist. I was going to say novel but I threw myself off because it's not a novel and there weren't really many novels around at the time but it's unusual for something to have a black protagonist but at the same time this this edition of it goes to great pains to explain the black the devil was considered to be black and so really that's why Othello is black so that he can be compared to the devil when he kind of loses his mind to jealousy the green-eyed monster you know so it's kind of forward thinking but at the same time it's kind of not especially when people are describing Othello as like thick-lipped and stuff You've got all these basically racist slurs being used as part of the play so it's an unusual one so I said I enjoyed it but it was kind of melodramatic at times Royer said uh I love the melodrama of it, found it very entertaining. And just the fact that everyone kept talking about what a great guy Iago is, classic. And then I said, I thought the use of the handkerchief was a bit weird though, because Othello and Desdemona literally talked about it when she dropped it. I would have thought one of the two of them would have remembered it. And then I said, yeah, it made me laugh that people kept bigging up Iago. And she said, bigging him up, aha, I love that phrase. And yeah, the handkerchief thing agreed. 
But yeah, well, you were kind of talking about how the annotations are interesting because you get to see what somebody else thought while they were reading it, you know? And uh, also, I'm assuming that whoever this person was, they they studied it for school or college or university or whatever. So they're obviously got the benefit of the education side of things as well. So I'm not going to say too much more about Othello. One thing I will say is that I definitely would like to go and see this, you know, performed as a play, but then arguably the same is true with all of Shakespeare. I'm sort of slowly working my way through his back catalogue and I've seen three or four of his plays. I'll, I'll probably go and see some more at some point and I would definitely like to go and see Othello if I get a chance. So there we have it, that's what I thought of Othello. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read this play or even better if you've been to see it performed. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video, hit subscribe for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot, bye bye.